Hey everyone, Ron Collins here from Blue Lacy SEO, and today I want to show you how to embed a Google Map into the footer of your website. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, uh, you should have a Google Map on your website, usually on the contact page. Uh, but you may also want to have a smaller map, like shown here, in the foot of your website that would come out on every page. Uh, there's a couple of reasons for that. Uh, to show your uh, potential clients and visitors uh, exactly where you are on a map. And also it's for SEO purposes, because um, this is a good indicator for your maps location, uh, maps ranking, and your Google My Business. So let's go ahead and look how to do this. It's very simple to do. If you go to the back end of uh, your WordPress site, you can go to Appearance and Widgets. There's a couple of ways you can do this. Uh, here are all the widgets. Uh, some of these may be specific to your theme, like this is the one for Astra which is the thing I'm using. And these are the widget areas. Don't use the footer bar, but you're going to use the footer widgets. And you can have up to five widget areas. Uh, I'm using the third. I'm using three widget areas. I'm using the third one. And you're going to use the text, this one here, to drag over into the footer widget area, which I've already done. And I'm going to show you how you can populate that with some code that's going to show your Google Map. So we're going to head over to a website called Map Embed. It's onemap.com slash map embed. I'll leave a link in the description of the video. So you'll have that. So first thing you need to do is what's the address to show on the map. Uh, I'm going to paste that address in there. And it's going to show up here on the map. Now for the footer, uh, this map size is a little bit too big. So I would recommend about 300 pixels wide and 200 pixels high. You can preview that. And you may play around with the size to get it to where you want it to be. But that looks pretty good for what we want. So the next thing all you do is click Get Code. Okay, so it's going to produce the code for you. And don't be uh, concerned about all this code, all you're going to do is copy it to your clipboard, like that. It's copied to my clipboard. I can close that. And we can go back to the widget area. And you can give this a title, you know, our location, whatever title you want. Now, I've already uh, put the code in here. And you want to do it under the text part. So here's the, here's the code. This is where you're going to paste the code into here. And then save it. And it's going to show up in your widget area. Now, the another way you can do this is you can also go to Appearance and click Customize. So let's do that. This is for uh, one of my client sites. And you're going to find footer and footer widgets. Now, I'm going to scroll to the bottom here to show you the, the footer. And I chose three widgets, these three areas. The third one being the map area. But you see these little circles with the pencil. I'm going to click inside this one. And this is going to take us to the same area that we saw before. I'm going to click on text. And you can paste the code in here. And give the, uh, the title. Like I put our location. 
And once you uh, paste the code, make sure you publish it. Uh, refresh your your browser and it'll show up like this one here and you have a nice uh, small map area in the foot of your website it's that easy to do if you have any questions uh, contact me at uh, blue lacy seo and i'll see you next time